In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a vertical floating bar chart, as you can see here. And the reason why they're floating is because they're not attached to the very bottom of the x-axis. And this is quite useful because with this, you can project the uh, chart in a different way. And this is very commonly used for a candlestick chart. So let's start to explore how we can do this. In this video, we're going to focus on how to create a vertical floating bar chart in Chart.js. Luckily, Chart.js has this straight out of the box, so that will be quite easy for us. So to do this, make sure you go to chartjs3.com getting started, or this specific link here. And you might notice this for some reason, my Google Chrome gives this weird error. Anyway, scroll down here, and I'm going to copy the default code that we're going to use. So once we copy this, and if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video here. It explains it all. So then here, I'll paste this in there, and then I'll just cut out the title and rename the title here. There you are. Save this and refresh. All right. So now we have here our basic bar chart. So what I want to do now is to make it a floating bar chart. To create a floating bar chart, chart has only requires you to do one thing. Basically, we're going to work with a data structure that is built in that recognizes that this is a floating bar chart. You can see that this here needs to be adjusted. So I'm going to just comment this out, but I'm going to copy it, enter it here, all right? And then what I'm going to do is here, the brackets here between, I'll put it here. And then what I want to do here is additional brackets. So basically what we're doing is an array within an array. And then what we can do here is, well, we can just make them float by indicating the position. The first value would be the starting position and the second value will be the ending position. So let's say I want to say this one will start at zero comma 18. So it will basically draw from the very top to the bottom, to the, or from the bottom to the top here. And then of course, from 18, we are going to 12. And then we can do a comma here, and then we can say here, from 12, we go to 6, comma, and then from 6, we, oh, make sure you have brackets here. From 6, we go to 9, comma, and then from here, brackets 9, go to 12, comma, and then finally here, or almost, from 12, comma, 3, and finally, from 3, we go to nine and then we can just delete all of these values here save this and then refresh and you can see here now we have a nice floating bar chart of course what we want to do here and this is the thing with the floating bar chart we have here these borders or a missing border at the bottom this is a default setting in a bar chart because the bar chart assume that you're attached to the bottom or if it's a horizontal attached to the right to the left side so what we want to do here now is let's start to put a comma here and then we just say here border skipped which is a command in charge as for the bar chart and then we say here false and what this really does is it basically removes the skip border here so if i refresh here now there you are and now we have this nicely and this is basically the way how we can do it and we can of course play around even with this we can go here and we put this on 25 and we make this 55 and if I save this now and refresh you can see here there you are it jumps up and you can see clearly the two values the 12 and the 6 which would be the starting point and the ending point or basically well in this case starting or the ending point depends on where it being considered however it will draw here exactly 12 and this one here 6 and that's basically how you create a vertical floating bar chart in chart.js.